All right, so let's look at problem apartments and the key point is there are n applicants and m free apartments given. Our task is to distribute the apartments so that as many applicants as possible will get an apartment. This line is important as many applicants as possible will get an apartment. The input contains three lines. The first line contains the number of applicants, the number of apartments and the maximum allowed difference. What is the meaning of this maximum allowed difference? Let us look uh, separately. As an example, uh, the number of applicants, let's say four, the number of apartments is three and the maximum allowed difference is four, five. So the number of applicants are four. That means there are four people and their desired uh, house size is 60, 45, 80, 60. And they can accept the house. They can accept the house if it is lies in the maximum allowed difference that means if it is lies in 60 minus 5 that will be 55 and 60 plus 5 that will be 65 so if the available apartment lies in their desired size they will go they want to accept it similarly this 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 so that's what the, the line is and the next line will be containing the available number of houses and which are three so these are three available houses of the 30 60 and 75 sizes now uh, as told we need to give as many applicants as possible so we will try to give we will try to give the small one to the given range then the next one next larger to the next range and so on so basically we need to sort these out to fulfill the maximum efficiency of giving the houses so that's what we're gonna sort this out so this will help us to eliminate eliminate the the problem of uh, giving houses to a desired one which can be satisfied with lower number of range of house but we will give the give the higher one means we will destroy the possibility for the future uh, applicants that's why we will sort them out and now we will start filling this so so we are here let's call this i and this one as g now we will start see checking if this lies in this range 30 lies in this in the range first applicant range no it doesn't lie so we will move forward we will move forward now we will see is it lies in the range no and simultaneously we will check we will check if if the applicant size becomes larger larger to the uh, to the available so the desired is 45 and this uh, this available one becomes uh, more right because it becomes more it is more so we will cut off the possibility of this one since because what we checked again I'm repeating uh, uh, let, let me again start here from here for better understanding so we will check if this one lies in the range if not then we will check if this is x this is less than or more than this so that means the desired is 45 and and 30 is uh, 40 is less than this so 45 is greater that means we, we can check for more availability right because maybe there would be present a house of here let's say 50 which can fulfill the need of this so we, what we will we are doing we are checking the range check the range if it is available and then we will check if the if the desired is more than more than available okay so we are here and first one didn't fulfill the criteria so we will since the the uh, available is smaller so we will increase this because desired is more 
so we can check for the further arrays so we are here now we will check again is it lies in the range no and which is bigger this uh, this available is bigger that means there is no such house between the given range hence this applicant won't get any house so we will move this here so this won't get any house so we will start from here now i is here j will be here and since we have sorted so that means there will be no such uh, house pr previous which would be which would be um, more than this which will be available in this range since we have sorted them out all right so let's see what we need to check we check the range is it available in the range yeah it is available in the range that means increase the counter and move forward move forward because you have fulfilled so we will uh, full, uh, you have sold this house let's call it in a different word so we will move forward now we are here we are here j is here now we will check is it in the range no it is not in the range and which is bigger uh, desired is smaller and the available is bigger available is bigger that means available is more than the desire that means there would be no such possibility for this guy right because available is more and the desired is less available is more so it doesn't lies in the range which we have checked in the first condition and we see the we see the available is more than desired that means there would be no possibility for this guy so we will increase the index for this and we have not sold so we are here only right remember this now we will check again is it in the range yeah it is in the range 75 to 85 it is in the range and it is inclusive so yeah this is in the range we will increase the count and we will move forward but now we have you we have eaten whole array we have checked so we will stop that means our stopping condition would be i should be less than the this i is checking the number of applicants and n and j will be less than m because it is checking them so we have created our uh, solution side by side so let's write a code for this now Hmm. So first line contains n m k, the number of applicants, the number of apartment, and the maximum allowed difference. So let's take this n m k. Now we will create two arrays, uh, or let's create vector only. Vector int first will be the desired, which they want. Then next will be available. Hmm. So now we will create our variables. Uh, the first one is uh, I desired. This will transfer in the desired array and initialize it zero. And the next will be J available. This will see for the available. And finally, we will have the count as zero. So we have this. Now we will create. Uh, we will get the input for desired and available. So we can i is less than n. I is less than this. In input we can call, and we will get the input, and we will push it in desired. Is a dot push back input. Similarly, uh, we will do this for the available houses. So we'll make this available. Hmm. So our input is done. Now we need to do the sort operation on both. So we'll start with begin and desire dot n. So 
level dot begin and I have made another video of how to use the vector about STL you can check the links for that so and this should be available hmm. okay so we have done the sorting operation by default it does in ascending order so we are done now we will start so what we need to check we need to check let's write just this checking condition here are two condition right check the range and check the so we'll write the check condition first so what is the check condition if if the desired minus k the range I'm I'm just writing the range is less than equal to available j desired I'm just writing the range here j okay hmm. so what is this this is just I'm read I'm subtracting uh, the uh, k and we are checking the range so 40 to 50 let's say so if this is there let me just zoom out so and or you can use this one also both are same so let's use this one only and and the other will be hmm this is less than equal to plus k so what is this written this is basically I am subtracting the k from here so this will be 40 and 40 is less than available available and both are initially uh, at zero. I have not incremented anything. Everything is zero. So yeah, if this minus k is less than this, and simultaneously it should be less than the upper bound also. So this thirty is less than equal to the desired plus k. So I am just checking this is the range the available house in the is in the range that's what the condition is written if that's the thing then we will increase the count because it is in the range and we will move forward so i desired will be will be moved forward that means i plus plus and even the j available which is checking the the j variable is checking j and uh, available variable is checking for the available one both will be incremented ahead but but if else if else if else if the desired index i desired will write if the desired is less than the available available so if the desired if the desired let's pick let's pick anyone uh, if the desired is let's say yeah, yes uh, if the desired 60 is less than the available if 60 is less than uh, this we check the first condition now we are checking this if desired is less than available so that means desired is smaller desired is smaller and we have crossed all the limits available is now more than that so that means we will increase the j available right no 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 we are not going to increase the j available because we will increase the i desired why why because now this this applicant has no option to buy any house right because the available is more than the size he can afford that's why we are cutting off the cutting of the this apartment for him that's why we are moving ahead let me this is the same example uh, 
this is 60 and this is 75 we check the range it is not available in the range and now the 60 75 is more the available house is more than the desired desired the available house is more so and we have sorted so in future ahead this won't be less than that 75 would we will encounter more bigger numbers than this so that's why this guy can buy any house so we will increase the i desired value that means i but if it is the opposite condition if available is less and desired is more means this condition desired is more and available is less means we can check for more right because 45 is more than 30 so we will check for more if he can buy uh, the house maybe in future we will have let's say let's have uh, let's have 42 so he can buy this right because it is in the range so that's what if it's a reverse condition we can be we can keep in else only we can increase the j available we will increase this one and this we need to keep on doing until until what until both are less than the sign so i we write i desired is less than n and j available is also less than m if this is the case then we need to keep on doing this all right so let's try to summarize this now we have apartments and and we have not i think we are we have not displayed the result so we'll display the result count that's why it's on success submit to stall and send not success okay i hope the problem is clear and the solution is also clear we are doing basically checking checking the range if the house is available within the range then we can give the house and move forward if it is not in the range then we will check if if this is smaller than the available let's say this this condition so this is now and we have sorted so that means in the future this 60 we will encounter more bigger numbers so no matter what this guy can't get a house so we will we will cancel off and we will increase the i desired which we did here i desired we have increased but if it is a river condition let's say this 60 and and let's take the first condition only so 45 is there and we are here so 45 is greater than 30 that means we, we should look for more greater size in the available array so that's why we will increase the j available and we will look for it so maybe in place of 60 it was having 42 here so that's what uh, we are here only and we, we are checking for this guy if there is any apartment which he can buy so that's what if that's the case if the desired is more then we will increase the g available and we will check for the available houses all right so we'll meet in the next video bye